Greetings decoupage friends, I'm back here with more napkins from Vippy's Designs. This time we have nautical and also a nice selection of florals. You can see these napkins and many more at their website www.vippies.com. So what do we do with these napkins? We use Mod Podge and we create really beautiful things like this. That's a coaster I made with a napkin and here's a rock I also decoupaged with a napkin. If you want to see how I made coasters and other items, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Decoupage DIY with Joan Marie Domino. Give me a thumbs up and share with your friends. This video, I also have a little project I'm going to include. Remember also to follow me and like my Facebook page. We'll start with this very festive. It says cheers and this napkin is from Ray Dunn and it's printed on two panels. Here's a very vintage looking napkin with the bike. It's printed on four panels and you know what? You get two of them. Love Ray Dunn's. This is another one, says USA, printed on two panels. Next, staying with the patriotic theme, we have this large napkin with a waving flag, United States flag, and you get two of these napkins this is a really cute napkin, has a watering can on it. And you know what? I'm going to give you a little sneak peek. That's going to be the project I'm going to have in this video. And this napkin is printed on all four sides. Here's another one very similar, but it has a red wagon. Love that. Printed on four panels. I love this. This is a bandana. It's got the red, white, and blue, so it's patriotic, and it opens up to one complete picture. We love that. Nothing is getting cut off. Another nice patriotic one. These are neat. It's like the stars are embroidered, has a really nice striped border, and that goes all the way across one continuous pattern. And, oh, you get two of these. Oh, very nice. Thank you, Vippies. Well, that was a nice little pile of patriotic 4th of July napkins. And now we can move on to florals. Um, Vippy's found some more beautiful, beautiful florals for you to do with your decoupage, like this one with all these beautiful rosy color flowers. Um, again, the print goes all the way across. Nothing is cut off. That's very, very important when you're looking for napkins. Here's one with little bouquets of roses, a very soft pink. And when you open it again, one continuous pattern, nothing is cut off. Very pretty. Here's another very soft pink. It's got that very pale background on it, like a background print and beautiful shades of pink and rose. Now this one is kind of an unusual napkin. Two panels make a picture. And if you look down at the bottom, there's this big, huge mansion with two little people and you would get two of them. Each, each two panels would make one picture. I hope I'm making myself clear on that. Okay, this is called Chalk Rose, and they're very, very limited on that napkin. Speaking of roses, here's a big, bold, beautiful blue. It's got um, some script writing in the background. Nothing is cut off. Really big, beautiful blue rose. We don't see too many napkins like that. Really pretty. Now we have some fun ladybugs and they have some dandelions and that napkin is printed on all four panels. Next up, this is a very soft blue um, background with these little white flowers and the print goes all the way across. Nothing is cut off. Oh, there's my sneak peek. That's my project coming up. <laughs> Okay, here's the same print, but on a long napkin, and I'm going to open it up. And this napkin is the same thing. The print goes all the way across, you know, a continuous pattern. Nothing is cut off. Very pretty roses, like a vine rose, opens up to one big picture. And here's a little something I made with that. Very, very pretty. Did that with a little bit of canvas. Here's another rose, and that is all four panels are printed. This is very pretty. They call it Summer Wreath with Flowers and Butterflies, and all four panels are printed. That's it. So now on to our fun project. This is an item I picked up at the Dollar Tree. It's a painting set, and when you open it up, it has a little canvas board in it and it has paints and it has a paintbrush. We don't need any of those things. We're only going to need the easel for this project. So we're going to put that aside. I am going to need a larger canvas board, which I got at the Dollar Tree and they come two in a pack. I'm only going to need one. That's the napkin I'm going to put on there. Really pretty watering can. And I'm only going to need one panel for this project. 
Next up, I want to remove that top layer. I have a little bit of glue between my fingers. Remember, we only use the top layer when we decoupage. We just put those bottom layers off to the side. Since this is white already, we don't have to paint it. All we have to do is put on some decoupage glue, some Mod Podge, and we're going to smooth it all over the canvas board. Make sure you have a nice good layer and that the whole board is completely covered. And now we're just going to line up where we want that beautiful, I love it, it's so cute, that um, watering can. Now I'm going to put a plastic bag on top and I'm doing that to protect the napkin while I smooth it out to make sure I got rid of all of the wrinkles. All right, let's take a look. Oh, that looks really, really nice. Okay, we have to let that dry before we go on to the next step, which is to add some of this striping that's along the edge of this napkin onto that canvas board. So I'm going to kind of cut it around. I don't want to ruin the whole napkin. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to separate the plies so I only have the top ply. Now I'm going to use my water brush because I want to have kind of a rough edge on this and I'm going to run it along the water along the edges where I want it and I'm just going to pull it apart like that. Now I'm going to put them on the top and the bottom. So now I have Mod Podge in a container because I'm, I'm going to need to use a brush this time. Take a little bit of Mod Podge on the brush and I'm going to run it down along the bottom and I'm not going to be worried about it overlapping a little bit. It's not going to really create any kind of problem. It's just going to look really nice and I'm going to smooth it with a little bit more Mod Podge. Then I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to do exactly the same thing on the top. Just put down a little Mod Podge. Then I'm going to put down with a little bit of an overlap the striping. Oh, it looks really, really nice. I'm going to wait for it to dry and then I'm going to remove all of that extra napkin that's hanging off the edge and I'm going to do that with a nail file. I'm going to use a downward stroke and I'm going to go all the way around the edges like that until I've removed all the extra napkin and the nail file gives me a nice clean edge. All right, now I'm going to show you my finished sign. Here it is. There I added some rope across the top and I even added a few little um, beads in each corner. Okay, there's the easel. Let's go to my studio. There, now you can really see how it looks when you put it on the easel. Really cute decor, not hard to make, that you can put out on your counter for the 4th of July. That was a nice haul of napkins from Vippy's Designs Decoupage Napkin Shop, www.vippies.com. And we used one of those beautiful napkins to make this patriotic sign for 4th of July. I hope you enjoyed this project and these beautiful napkins from Vippy's Designs. You're not going to want to miss any new hauls. I've got one coming in a couple days. Almost 40 napkins. So please subscribe, Decoupage DIY with Joan Marie Domner. Give me a thumbs up, share with your friends, and follow and like my Facebook page. And Vippies, they have a Facebook page as well. Thank you so much for watching, and I'm going to see you. I'm going to see you just in a few days.